Here is my fantasy championship football ring from 2010. Of course, it's 2012. I just received it because I couldn't afford it last year. That's what happens whenever you're married. But anyway, uh, I got this from Johnston's. It's uh, the white lustrium finish franchise three or four. Uh, I think it's the franchise three. Um, it's uh, you can get it in white gold or uh, if you want to pay a penny for it. But this one would cost me three hundred dollars. It's actually two hundred eighty dollars, and you can fully customize it. There's my team name, the Blue Jacks, and you can't see it on this camera. Focus is not very good, but the league initials are underneath on the uh, player there. And then on the other side, of course, has my name, my last name, and then the year that I won the championship, which I don't think you can see that very well, but it says 2010. And then, of course, I've got some custom engravings on the inside, which uh, basically was my regular season record, my playoff record, the score of the Super Bowl, and my seating in our playoffs in our football league. And, of course, it's uh, total bragging rights to have something like this. But it came out very good, almost like a, basically just like a class ring, but it, it's very gaudy looking, just like you would expect a Super Bowl ring to look or any kind of a championship ring. And of course on my little hands here, kind of have small hands, but there you go. Looks very good. And now I can use the famous line that I've always liked to use uh, from the movie Kicking and Screaming with Mike Ditka, whenever he says, I'm sorry I couldn't hear you, my Super Bowl ring was making too much noise. But anyway, a uh, very quality, high quality product. And for people that are into uh, fantasy championship rings, or if you take your fantasy league serious, I would recommend uh, getting one. Uh, there's a lot of different websites that have um, fantasy championship rings, uh, but of course Johnson's and I think Balfour, uh, they do rings, but um, I actually had someone that worked at Balfour. Uh, I knew someone there, but I never actually called him back. I, I just really liked the design on the one on online with uh, Johnson, so I, I went with them and uh, I actually feel pretty good about it. Of course, this isn't something I'm going to wear every day, but you know, when we have our fantasy draft or Anytime the guys get together and we're doing something that's, you know, have a fantasy football meeting or for whatever, our draft, things like that, I'll break it out. And it's uh, definitely going to be a, a conversation piece at work. So it looks very good. And uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks when I get my HD camera and I'll post another video and I can get a better close-up of it.